Hello everyone and welcome to our game of World of Warships. Today's free play is from Simon Apps and he is in the Golsa Core First, the tier 10 German battleship. He is on the map shards in a free point domination game. There's three destroyers per team and there is a carrier. Now unfortunately the friendly set that went towards the sea cap has found quite a bit of radar. There is a Moskva there, there is a Des Moines there, there is a Missouri there. And uh, I guess his exit strategy did not work out that well. So the friend is already down with destroyed. This makes this push in the north a lot more interesting, let's put it like this. So the friendlies have given up the A cap, there is still the Ogniboy around that wanted to go A, but there was no support for it, so he is probably retreating now. Friendlies are getting the center for free, so that's nice. But now they have to decide if they want to try to push A or push C. Now, even if the Arungumo went up here in the north, it still faced three raiders, so there isn't much he can do. And the enemy is pushing hard into this camp. Now, when it comes to, like, the C cap here, I'm not entirely sure yet. I've not made up my mind which team has actually the advantage if you push the C cap. Like, the enemy team has a lot of islands there, but those islands aren't really that well suited for shooting from behind cover. The islands are mostly pretty high. And if the enemy actually pushes inside here, then they are basically... Their retreat is somewhat blocked by those islands, and they are just in a killing field. Like, a friendly team can shoot anything that's inside this cap. There is no islands blocking it. So as soon as the enemy enters the cap, they are not in a very good spot. Like, if friendlies enter this cap, then those islands can be used as cover against the enemy team. So I still think this cap might favor the friendly team, theoretically. Now, I mean, uh, this all is a uh, hypothetical scenario. The enemy team is just pushing very hard in there. And there is nothing the friendlies can do at this currently. Now, I'm not sure what this big blob of friendlies is doing down there. Because... It's not really a very relevant position. Like, they didn't want to go A, so they've just decided to meet up and cuddle a little bit, and I don't know. I guess we will find out what they are up to. Now, Simon Epps is going here into this corner. That's not usually a spot where I'd want to be, and I always have said if you end up in a corner, then you Probably things went horribly wrong. And yes, things are going horribly wrong. Because he can't push this force on his own. His support is, well, not here. And there is just a massive enemy force. So he is using what cover he has and he is trying to go around and hopefully get some broadside shots. That might actually work. Like, if the enemy is all facing towards that incoming force, then he can get around here. And hopefully, uh, can sh abuse some roadsides. Now, the only one still defending B is the two destroyers. Now, the destroyers, they are trying to stay away from the radar, I assume. So, all they can do is hopefully just top the incoming force from the south. Not that any ship here is interested in stopping those guys pushing from the south, other than the destroyers. So, this is uh, not ideal. Now, meanwhile, our Kurfürst is just continuing his push. I mean, he's trying to be as aggressive as he possibly can without just suiciding into a massive enemy force. There is still probably the Benson around. So, I mean, his Hydro is currently running. Because that the Benson is topping through this gap here or something is pretty realistic. And there you go. There, there goes another ship. So, the flanking maneuver is working quite nicely. He's got some broadsides to abuse here. But it's it's a long way from a winning match right now. Now the friendlies only have one cap and most of the ships are horribly out of position. Now unfortunately this conqueror is not sending a very good firing angle. There is still the Benson around here. And well, I mean, if he continues to push around, he might just... Well, like, 
Maybe he can get that Missouri on his own there. And here comes the Benson. So I guess the Benson finally decided that he wants to torpedo this battleship. It's coming around here. Pretty nice come on the Benson, I have to say. I love it. And that was an amazing salvo. So RNG was with our crew first here. That's one destroyer taken care of. And I think he should hopefully be fast enough to outrun those torps. Like, I mean, the torpedo angles are restricted by this island. So if he manages to get be uh, behind this island, then he's safe from the Benson Torps. If the Benson managed to get them away. So anyway, our Corvus shows no sign of stopping here. He's just... He keeps going. Next up, we have a Missouri that's already pretty low. So he should be able to deal with that. He also is still reasonably healthy. There is also a carrier he's found. Now the carrier is not a priority target right now. He needs to take care of the ships that are actually doing damage to him. Now, meanwhile, we have at least a Montana who has managed to sail into the sea camp. And he's preferring to shoot the broadside Amagi over the Miss. Personally, I would have tried to finish off the Missouri here. I mean, the secondaries are doing some work here, but honestly, I just have shot the Missouri in the superstructure here just to take out his gun soon. But I mean it worked out here. Now we have Carrier coming into play. And I probably would have still focused the Amaki over the Carrier. But I mean the Carrier is also kind of broadside. He should be able to deal with the Carrier reasonably fast. Also he has his uh, anti-air reinforced on the side where the Carrier is. Which makes a ton of sense. So let's see, what does RNG say? Can he get rid of this carrier right now? I mean the carrier will... Oh, he got one over me. <laughs> I mean, if he manages to get rid of this carrier right now... Then at least he isn't getting a rest anymore. And it looks like Yamaki isn't doing an awful lot just yet. So it looks like he's figured he can leave the carrier to his secondaries and he's focusing on the Amagi again that's currently turning to be broadside. Which is very sporting. And there you go, that's it's one less carrier. Now the friendlies have managed to pull the ships towards their advantage, but they still don't have a package. Now we do have a Musashi in this cap here, and we still have some ships that are questionably positioned. So we will see about that. Now hopefully this Amagi is dealt with soon, and then our Kofus can probably continue towards the B cap, and maybe sail in there and take a point. Now there is a destroyer here towards his left inside a smoke screen, so he is going with Hydro here. Because you'll never know what this steering is up to. And it will certainly help with dodging some torpedoes. And speaking of the daring, the daring was just visible there. Now he has a habit of uh, just shooting ships until they are low and then letting them get finished off by the secondaries. I'm not entirely sure if that's the best course of action. I mean, obviously, he this. Seems to be working here. But like, you really want to take ships out fast so the guns are out of play and they stop shooting you. On the other hand, I guess he is maximizing his firepower. Especially since he didn't have another ship here in secondary range right now. Well, except for a daring that wasn't spotted. So, I mean, the enemy team still can win this rather easily by playing four points, I think. Like, they have to destroy. Well, I guess the friendlies have a carrier left. 
and that carrier can just spot destroyers. They also have a Missouri left, but keep in mind this Missouri is probably not going to radar anyone. <laughs> What's that Missouri doing? Oh, look at that! The daring is showing herself. Isn't that nice? So, secondaries are on the way, primary guns are doing a pretty decent job. Now, this is a lone torpedo, but it's like the core first is a very massive thing. It's... It's not... It doesn't like maneuvering, so he is taking that one top. Now he took it into the door belt. I assume that he figured out he could probably not dodge it, so he went and tried to just get hit in his torpo to reduce the damage. And now we are down to two enemies. It's an Ogne Void that's still chasing after the carrier for whatever reason. And well then there is this core first. Now Simon Epps is out of heals. So we will see how this turns out. I mean he can try to go for a ram here. Especially since the friendlies actually managed to get rid of the destroyers, so this is the last remaining enemy. The enemy team still has a points lead because the friendlies just never managed to take caps, but... Yeah, the enemy team might have a hard time pulling this. Then again, I mean if they sink Simon Epps here and then maybe the Musashi, I think the remaining friendlies are not a threat to anyone. But it looks like that Kurfürst isn't even trying to shoot Simon Epps, so this will be ending RAM. So here we are with the results. Simon Epps earned himself 2959 base experience. Rather nicely done by him. So basically the friendly team was way too passive, so he decided he had to push himself. And he used the islands quite intelligently to engage a few enemies at a time, and he just kept pushing and well, sinking enemy ships. Simon Epps achieved a confederate, four close quarters expert, a kraken and a high caliber, scoring 367,000 points of damage and sinking seven enemies. Yeah, he had to carry this team pretty hard, but ultimately he succeeded, and that was a very nice battle to watch. So I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys next time.